you know what pushed that egg in the bottle? I can't see anything. Can you? I can't feel anything. I wonder if it might help you if I asked you another question. That is, which of these three glasses is empty? Take a close look now. Did you say this one? Certainly not. You can easily see the water in that one, can't you? This one? Oh, it's harder to see the water, but it's there. I bet a lot of you said this one. But is it really empty? Let's see. Let's turn it upside down and place it in this water. Notice the water does not run in the glass. In fact, what's ever in this glass is holding the water out. It's pushing on it. Let's tip the glass just a little bit. Do you hear that? See that? Did you say there were bubbles? Good. But what kind of bubbles? How many said air bubbles? Good. So air then must have been in this glass so that the air must push. It presses. We say air has pressure. If this is true, then we should be able to put more air in the bottle and force the egg back out again. Sometimes I get a second breakfast doing this, but we'll try it anyway. In this way, we used air pressure again. The air pushed. How hard does air push? Well, for example, do you think air pushes hard enough to crush this metal can that we have here? Let's try it. I've driven the air out of this can in very much the same way that we drove the air out of the milk bottle before. Only this time, we heated the air on a burner. Now, let's see if we can use air pressure to crush the can. We're going to cool it quickly with water and see, you can probably hear already the can is beginning to crack. Why did the can collapse? Because we drove the air out of the can first and used the pressure in this room to crush the can.